service Sunday, and it was it was a good service. <clears throat> Spirit was kind. Me and John both come out of the Book of Job. Job or John was over in the thirty third chapter, speaking of Elihu, who's a type of the of the ministry, and he was uh, pointing out where Elihu had brought forth two men. And then he went over to John 3. And uh, it was... Uh, it, it was good. Uh, good service. Oh, I think they're, they're at one point, And that's what I want to look at. Just a little bit deeper. I, I mentioned... Over here in the 38th chapter. When the Lord is... Lord answered Job out of the whirlwind. 38 and verse 8. And he was fat. And like I said, he was asking him questions. Or who shut up? Or who shut up the sea with doors? When it break forth as if it had issued out of the womb. When I made the cloud the garment thereof, and thick, thick darkness a swaddling band for it. And he said, and break, he set, up for it, they, it is that sea, <clears throat> set up for it my decreed place, and set bars and doors. <clears throat> so in that, Right there, and I think I did mention it Sunday. This is, this is both a natural truth, and it's a spiritual truth. The natural truth is uh, we've all, or a lot of people, have been, have been, uh, have been, has been the ocean, and they give you a tide chart. And if you're going to go out in a boat, you better have a tide chart. Because it's going to go out and it's going to come in. And that has to do with, the, they say, the gravitational pull of the moon. And the Lord set all that. He said, my decreed. He said, my decreed place. Man has nothing to do with that. You know... The moon, in and of itself, is a type of the Moses Law. <clears throat> the only light that the moon has comes from the sun. It's a reflection. <clears throat> and the true light is the sun. And the true light is our Lord and Savior. <clears throat> so even in that... That is both a natural and a spiritual. And this is no different, right? This is no different right here. Now, a couple of Sundays ago, we had some visitors. Um, young couple, and, and it was it was pleasant, and we enjoyed them. And, and uh, the young man was from England. And I was speaking on Nebuchadnezzar. And it reminded him of a of a story that goes around, I guess, his area there in England. And it was from the 6th century, a King Canute. I think I'm pronouncing it right. And he said the people were looking up to him too much. And he had been shown something, I suppose, is how it went, and he wanted to show them he was a king, but he was not the creator. And when me coming forth from Nebuchadnezzar, it, 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 it had reminded him of, uh, of that legend, I guess is a better term. And he said that king had them carry his throne, his seat, whatever, down to the ocean when, when, it, when it was at low tide. And then he showed them by saying, telling the the tide to to not come in of course it did 
<clears throat> he said it was dangerous for him. <clears throat> but he was proven to him, I may be a king, but I am not the king of all. He is, I am not the creator. Only our Lord and Savior can, can control as he did. <clears throat> they were going through the storm and he stilled the storm. But getting back to this, so that is this is both natural, but how is it spiritual? Psalm seventy six ten and a lot of <clears throat> this is another this is a well known verse. Surely the wrath of man shall praise thee, and the remainder of wrath shalt thou restrain. <clears throat> and then in over in Acts 20, 17, verse 26, And hath made of one blood all nations of men for to dwell on all the, all the face of the earth, and hath determined the times before appointed, and the bounds of their habitation. That's both spiritual, and that's both natural. And when you go back to those three friends, and they were friends, <clears throat> but they could only <clears throat> give to Job the measure that had been handed to him. And Romans 12.3 tells you of that. The measure there of faith. That is given. And they could hand him. And they could, and they could hand him no more. <clears throat> nor, nor less. Because <clears throat> each person. Has a certain measure. But it says the wrath of man shall praise him. And there's a multitude of examples of that in the scripture. <clears throat> but this, this right here was not necessarily wrath, but yet Elihu, in the 32nd chapter, in, in his opening dialogue, it said, Then was kindled the wrath of Elihu, against Job well, was his wrath kindled and he tells you exactly why because he justified himself rather than God that's why his wrath was kindled and against his three friends was his wrath kindled because they had found no answer and yet had condemned Job <clears throat> The wrath of a man shall praise him, and the remainder of wrath he he shall restrain. Got thinking about, and we've used these many times, these examples. Thinking about Daniel. There were some guys that were jealous, and they went to the king, and they knew Daniel prayed. Three, three times a day, I do believe I haven't. I should have read it, but I didn't. And they went to the king, and they got a decree, and the king put his seal in, in, in that decree. And they're, and they're in the background, and they're pulling the strings, and they're working things because they knew Daniel was going to pray. And they caught him praying. The king had to put him in in that den. But see, the wrath of man shall praise him, and the remainder shall he restrain. For the bounds of their habitation are set in the same manner that he sets the bounds of the tide of the sea in a natural way, and he sets the bounds of the sea upon mankind. <clears throat> and they can go no further. 
and that king was tore all to pieces about Daniel being in that den. <clears throat> but the Lord reached down, and it was a simple thing for our Lord. He just closed the mouse. That's all he done. He just closed those lions' mouths. Daniel came forth from 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 the den, and the exact and the very ones that were in the background pulling those strings and thinking they were doing it, and <clears throat> doing it, they got thrown in the lions' den. <clears throat> the bounds of the habitation of of uh, of, of man. That sea, it is set, and just exactly like that tide, it can come up no farther, <clears throat> nor no 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 nor, nor go out any farther than than our Lord has set. You know, Paul, this Paul over here in Acts, I believe it is <clears throat> the eighth chapter, I do believe. Uh, he was persecuting the church. And, there, and there's a little verse here. <clears throat> and Saul was consenting unto his death. Talk, okay, he was talking about Stephen. And at that time, there was a great, you know, the only two people that are mentioned at that stoning by name was Saul and Stephen. That's the only two. <clears throat> And Saul was consenting unto his death, and verse 2, and devout men carried Stephen to his barrel and made great lamentation over him. As for Saul, he made great havoc of the church, entering into every house and hailing men and women and committed them, uh, 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 committed them to prison. But verse 4, therefore, so that's looking back to verse 3. Because of what was happening with Saul, therefore they that, they that were scattered abroad went everywhere preaching the word. <clears throat> here, here, here was the Lord. The wrath of man shall praise him, and the remainder he, he, he shall restrain. And that sea, it can go no farther than what our Lord, he has set the bounds of the habitation of this ocean. And he has set the bounds and the habitation of mankind and the wrath that there is. And in some way, in some way, <clears throat> his glory will shine through every single time. You think of Haman and Mordecai in Esther. Haman and Mordecai. Haman was in the back there doing the exact same thing as those ones against Daniel. He was pulling the strings and he had it all set up. He was building the guy he was building the gallows. And he just knew. He knew just exactly it was going to get. It was going to do this, and then this was going to happen, and then this was going to happen. But our Lord God, the bounds of that habitation is set. That 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 sea, that mankind, that wrath can go no farther, no farther. <clears throat> Then our Lord has decreed. Isaiah 54 and verse 17. I'll read it. I can just about paraphrase it, but I'm not. <clears throat> he says, No weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper. And every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment, thou shalt condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and their righteousness is of me. 
It does not come from here. It is from it is from our Lord. And then you go right back to, to this right here. I'll get back to Haman here in a second. Haman and, and, and Mordecai. <clears throat> Isaiah 46, 9 and 10. Remember the former things of old. For I am God and there is none else. I am God and there is none like me. And it says right on. And it says right over here, and break and set up. This is thirty-eight ten for it. And what what is the it? That is that mankind, that sea. Set up my decreed place, and it will not go one centimeter farther than our Lord, who has set the bounds, and He set the the, the, the uh, decreed place, and He set the bars, and He set the door, the, the, the doors, the bounds of the habitation are set. <clears throat> And he said, Remember the former things of old, for I am God, and there is none else. I am God, and there is none like me. Declaring. Our God is a declaring God. The end. And he declared it from the beginning. And no man has ever done that. And from ancient times, the things that are not yet done, saying, my counsel shall, and that right there is a hard shall, stand, and I will do all my pleasure. And then Haman and Mordecai, Haman is there, and he's building them gallows, and he has everything set. It's all, it's, it's perfectly, the, his, 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 his plan is coming right to, to, together. And then the Lord God just reaches down and takes some sleep away <clears throat> for, for, from a king. He guides the servant's hand and he opens up the book to a certain place about, uh, and, and it's about Mordecai. The very, the, the, the very one, and Haman is the one that gets hung on the gallows. And that right there is this right here, who shut up the sea with doors, and when it break forth, and it goes and break up for it, my decree place. And that is that sea, and that is the works of man. Uh, of mankind he said he has set the bars and he set the doors and if you want to know why i will end it right here at romans 9 and i and i tell you this this roman 9 <clears throat> for he saith to moses i will have mercy on whom i will have mercy and I will have compassion on whom I will have compassion. So then, it is not him that willeth, not the works of man. He sets the bounds of that habitation in both a natural way, the ocean that is out there now, and that tide that comes, that, 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 that it comes in and it leaves and in a spiritual way the bounds and uh, of the habitation are are uh, set and he says the wrath of man shall praise him and the remainder he he uh, he uh, shall restrain it says right hand for the scripture saith even saith unto pharaoh even for this same purpose have I raised thee up, and here is the why, that I might show my power in thee, and that my name might be declared throughout all of the earth. That right there, he, 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 he put a decreed place upon, upon that sea, and it cannot, nor will it ever, get out of the bounds that a sovereign God has decreed and set. And that's what he's talking about in that 38th chapter of Job. <clears throat> that, that sea right there. 
And then, and then the old prophet Isaiah said, he said, there's no weapon formed, no weapon formed against thee that shall prosper.